Objection! There's really nothing to investigate here. The sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come out here for spiritual training, Maya. Maya. Fucking losers! Their stats are so tiny, what are they gonna do? Why is she busy chasing waterfalls? I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees I'll fight you. That sounded poetic. Uh, what is it about pe- oh wait. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes. My poetry has that effect on some people. She's probably wearing fucking sandals because she's stupid and also anime. Probably, definitely. Is there anything else to investigate here? No. In the top left corner... <laughs> the, this version is the best way to play this trilogy, by the way. Because I, it turns I, orange. Y yeah. You said that in the first case. I I probably have, and I it's important. Yep. Because uh. playing on the fucking... Like, I played the DS ports, and... Fuck! That was obnoxious, because you would search and search and search, and it would be one tiny pixel hunt that you needed to do, and I'm bad at pixel hunts. I'm sorry. Yeah, why did you make it that way, Nick? Because you I, better apologize. Because I don't know anything about game design. December 25th, <laughs> Gord Lake, Public Beach. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please! What kind of dumbass came up with the name samurai dogs? <laughs> I bet they're great. Yeah, with you a know, name you, like you samurai know. dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. Yeah, which is still really creepy because it's based around her. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot. I mean, like, you know. What? <laughs> Huh, someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string. And it goes pop. Yep, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick! They might be a clue! Let's take them! Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Yes. Poppers. Hmm. Hmm. Take them. Take them, take them, take them. Suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. I bet even if you go like, no, I'm not going to take them, he goes, where are they? And she's like, in my pocket. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's true, but considering you need them to progress, it's a little silly. Do we do we look at all this stuff because I know none of it's relevant? Uh, I mean, it's we have been, so it's for the people. Yeah, a hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. I had... Two or three mugs of diner coffee this morning, and I'm still tired. Do you need more coffee? Probably, eventually. Okay. Yeah. Fucking parenthood. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Like my penis. Say, hey, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was so sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. Like my penis. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just coincidence. Oh, okay. I hate that when you make, like, my penis jokes that I know and can be like, no, it does, no, it isn't. Okay, so I was saying that from the perspective of Mr. Wright. Oh. The trash can is empty. <laughs> At least the place is well maintained. <laughs> oh, no, you went to drink. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat the dog. Here. Collar and all. You get your dog and you eat it too. Yep. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. I don't know, man. I remember when I used to, like, have to walk to classes and stuff. I once got, like, I got, like, a big fuck burrito, right? And I sat outside, and I ate it in the cold in the dead of winter. And it was just this, like, wonderful little packet of warmth that I was shoving into my face. And everything was good and happy. Yep. And then as soon as the burrito gone, your life was back to the cold nothingness that it is. 
Most of it, most of it. Is that just me? Okay. December uh, 25th, boat rental shop. I don't remember if that was my depressed era of college. <laughs> Nick, yeah. what is this place? It's a boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business, either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished and you turn hey, 18? Hey, good idea! You bet! A small boat rental shop. Secretly a pasta shop. Doesn't anyone... Look, doesn't look like anyone is around. <laughs> They're probably closed because it's pris, pris, mm, Chrysler. You remember that detail. <laughs> yep, there are some Fucking boats spoilers. floating at the dock. One of these boats used in the murder. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder. Wow, Nick? I can't see for shit. Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. What? Oh, probably because of the murder. Yeah, I don't want to get murdered on a boat. There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Although, being able to haunt a lake sounds pretty good. I mean, like... Because you can have haunted lakes, right? Yeah. But you can't really have, like, a haunted ocean. Your, like, ghost juice gets too dis too diluted. Nope. Nope. You just... It's haunted at specific spots. It's, it's oh. honestly haunted ocean. Oh, man. Man and Medan coming out at the end of this month. I'm excited. December 25th. Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look. Someone's camping. They've got guts. Camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to him. Also, they've got a lot of guts. <laughs> camping next to the no camping sign. I love the that. sign says, no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? Okay. I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Maybe they should. This SUV, suburban utility vehicle, has seen better days. It's dented all over the place. It's like a fucking golf ball. I can't believe anyone would drive their <laughs> car down here. <laughs> hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again or thinking about setting a tent on fire. <laughs> no, no. To one of those. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made out of aluminum? Because they're lightweight. Yep. And they disperse heat evenly, but you can't fry things in them because it'll, like, overheat the pan and make it pop. And then you set your shirt on fire, and they don't like that. Sorry, they didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum right then. No, but you don't want to take cast iron on a hike. I'm not having this conversation. You don't want to take cast iron on a hike, though. It's too heavy. I know. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> There's food and some magazines on the feet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. And to carry a fuck. You can fuck yourself. It takes a lot to carry cast iron. Yeah, a lot of stupidity. The trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. Funnily enough, I can't see the forest from here. Nick, you're the type of guy where if I was like, I bet you can't. It's. It's impossible to punch yourself in your own dick as hard as you can and you would go that a fucking challenge and just destroy your penis i can't see the forest yeah and last time we recorded and i do remember this you said yeah because of the trees and then you caught yourself yeah it's oh too man late. i i am going i am sad about this case because there are things that i had figured out before and I got so hype about them. Yeah. And then like I was like, oh I got it right, but can't do that now. Yep. Fuck. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Hmm. What? Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Hmm. Huh. No! Stop that! Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. <laughs> well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Stop it! <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, it responded. I heard myself yelling a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink. 
Oh god, this session's a mess already. That's gross. Yo! Hey, you get your hands off of that! <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? Look at what you've done now! Here goes a whole roll of film! Ah, uh, well, huh? What's this? Sorry! Sorry is nice, but don't pay my bills. You know how much roll that film costs? It's like $270. Uh, I'll pay you back. What are y'all thinking setting off Potty Popper in a place like this? Uh, well. What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. See what I mean about like the... Yeah, I know how all y'all gank think. I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. The big help! And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no. Rather, uh, we're a sort of friend. I just figured out what y'all gonna say. Say for Jesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen you stutter all day. The Jesum, oh, my boy. favorite figure in Christianity. <laughs> I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. I'm a lawyer. I uh, this is my badge. You fucked up and progressed. What? Remember when you talk to her, she doesn't have, she's like, she tells you to fuck off. Oh. But then you have to present your badge to make her talk to you. I obviously don't remember that. Oh. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer! <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all ain't gonna try to pull one of them lawsuits on me or that film now. Cause I have y'all know, I'm a fighter and I wrestle me to look things in you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool! Why don't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Yeah, you mind, honey. I could talk yank for you if, <clears throat> if it pleases you. But thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great, then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart, but y'all can call me Lada. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. I don't know. I don't think I can do her talking yank <laughs> also. Maya said it was fine. Okay, cool. I just... There's a lot of layers. Oh yeah, when was... Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, when was the murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. Is that so? Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to chuck a mule. Kind of hard to remember which I've seen and when. How many boats is that? How many Two. does it take? How many? Two. Two? Yeah. That's one more than I thought. <laughs> so what does he do, Lotta? You'd be surprised that you could fit in a mule. I saw this comic <laughs> book. <laughs> I saw this comic. It had a dolphin and a horse, and you'd be amazed uh, at what happened next. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Me? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Y'all really want to know that, dude? Actually, Fuck. I'm a research student at Country University, right in the heart of the heart. Uh, Ow! Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at a university, Country U. Uh, yeah, I know. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess about three days ago. Just enough time for Jesus to get done cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I've never heard that before. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I just came up with that. <laughs> Alright, are you ready though? You ready to keep coming? Yeah, okay. it's your line! What are you photographing? <laughs> Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Definitely. That's what I'm doing. 
just photographing <laughs> falling stars. Yep, also known as comets, and... That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. <laughs> it's German-made, a genuine soul engine. Isn't that where they make knives? Knife camera. Um... So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mock triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Lada's camera added to the court record. I'm so glad that they don't talk about party poppers again for a while, because it's so hard to not read them as party poopers. Yeah. Lada? Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, uh, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? You know, some people say I'm a pistol. My mama says I'm a pistol. <laughs> you know, my uncle says I'm a pistol, too. Right? Wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I, I mean, I guess it would. I mean, my, my daddy called me a pistol, my ex-boyfriend called me a... Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, uh, did it? <laughs> Hey! Y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look see my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once. Don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? <sighs> Jesus. She went inside her SUV. That's suburban utility vehicle. I don't speak Italian. I guess we should come back later. <coughs> <laughs> nope, nothing new. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was my insights. I that probably didn't pick up, but holy shit, if it did. <laughs> Oh, man. That was like anime stomach growl noises. Oh, that wasn't my stomach. Oh, I know, but... Lower. Like, what? that's what Nar... That's the sound <laughs> that Naruto makes when he fucking eats too much ramen. Well, I didn't... I, it wasn't even a fart. That was just I my know. body loading one in the chamber. I know. <laughs> this recording went off the rails. This camera is rigged to respond to noise. I like... thought... I thought to myself, like... Given that it's just us reading the fucking dialogue... Most of the time, this recording session can't get too silly. I was fucking wrong. It's always sillier when we have to re-record. Yeah, that's true. It's uh, so much sillier. Oh man, it did it again. Because I moved my leg and like loosened up more on my coat. But it only responds to loud noises like a party <laughs> popper. Oh. Or like public beach. <gasps> Jesus. Don't be gross. December 25th, Police Department. Criminal Affairs. Such for these guys if they gotta be working on Christmas. I guess Detective... I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! De Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Okay. So I do want to point out to the viewer, I called what this poster was beforehand. <laughs> I was like, a poster of a hot babe, <laughs> or some shit like that. Yeah. Of a female police officer. Wait, no, that's latest babes in uniform calendar. My B. Babes. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Wow, good Lake. Gordy decided. I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Oh no, he's playing Galaga. <laughs> hey, that is, is that the police department's mascot? Oh, man. Mascot? That's the blue badger! It was my idea! I made it! It's my mascot! Uh, I see. Oh, Probably nice. should have gone for, like, the... the typical chief of, like, YOU'RE OFF THE CASE! I'll get him a signed mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do! Can you imagine him saying those lines in an aggressive tone of voice, though? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, actually, I can. Good luck! Okay, the Galaga thing was a great bit of foreshadowing, though. For what? That there would be aliens? Aliens coming out of a hole in the sky, which would be the top of the screen. 
You're stupid. And then a man is going up, going left and right, shooting lasers at them to kill them before they hit the ground. You're stupid. That was the very end of the movie. You're stupid. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. All right, hands against the wall. All of ya. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes in the back of my head. He must be doing image training for arrests. Yep, that's what he's doing. These are the detective's desks. They are computers, and there are files on ev every one. Funny, they're a lot tighter than I'd expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Except for that one. The one who's definitely not touching himself. <laughs> Underneath the table right now. We gotta talk to it. Hey! Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not a word. Not a word. So how'd the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. Uh, you know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like me or me. Still, I get to feeling that if he'd done something wrong, you wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. What well, can't anybody else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Ugh. Uh, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. <laughs> and do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. Yeah, you do. We trust each other, <clears throat> that's how it works. A working relationship? Yeah, it means they communicate effectively and they're, you know, reciprocal. Means nothing under the table, pal. I mean, if you're Only peck on the cheek. See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. I'm more of an on top of the table. Yeah, his kind of methods guy. might be a little <laughs> extreme at times. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation. See, he trusts us to get the right man. This paints everything but the red, white, blue case in a different light, you know? Yeah. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust that he places in us. Maybe, I see. Maybe you do that by being better police, though. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you could trust. You have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Autopsy report added to the court record. Oh, he was shot one time in the heart. Thank you. Nick? Hmm? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Hmm. That face! Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. It was in your living room. Ugh. Is this... I'm asking about it? Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. I'm a lawyer. Sorry, I'm drawing a blink right now. Okay. 